friends, I hope that you're having a wonderful day today. In today's video, I just wanted to go ahead and show some folks some of the simpler choose your own adventures that people can go on over in the Make Your Choice subreddit. For those of you who do not know that much about Choose Your Own Adventures, Choose Your Own Adventures are a type of interactive fiction in which you are presented with a series of choices that affect the story or that allow you to go on little adventures of your own. Sometimes they are really complex. One big example of a really complex and fantastically fun Choose Your Own Adventure that someone can go on is power creator Xenon. And that is one of my favorite Choose Your Own Adventures of all time. It is also stunningly complex. It is a multi-page, multi-part, multi-resource thing where you have to make a ton of different choices that will affect every facet of a setting and your character and you yourself. And while it is a lot of fun, it can also be really overwhelming. That said, not every single choose your own adventure is something that is stunningly complex. Some of them, like the ones that we are going to look at today, are really simple things that only take a few minutes to do and just serve as story baits or inspiration baits and fun thought experiments. This particular choose your own adventure is a you can only choose one slash you can only choose two type, which is one of the simplest formats of this. It is made by someone over on Reddit named Pixel GMS, and in it you can only choose two beans. Uh, it is a remade version of one that was originally you can only choose one, but it seems like the person decided that they wanted to be a little bit more generous. It is also very queer friendly. I really like that as a queer person myself. I am trans and I'm not going to talk about that a whole bunch, but it's just really nice to see something this queer friendly. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different beans. I'm not going to try to say which color they are because I am at least somewhat colorblind. So that's really fun. That said, we're just going to go ahead and look through the different options. With the first bean, you know just what to say to best help people discover their true gender identity and sexuality and to help them become comfortable about it. Works on yourself. The next one, you're genetically and biologically switched to your preferred sex. You have your preferred sexual characteristics. The third one, you make 50,000 US dollars a year on top of whatever you earn through mundane means. This money is untaxed. This next bean, which I'm pretty sure is blue, that color is one of the colors I can see a little bit more easily. All aware gender queer people will get a free prescription of their preferred homo hormones at their legal or at their ideal dosages. Red, being LGBTQIA+, or acting upon your gender identity or sexuality is no longer illegal anywhere in the world. Gay slash trans panic is no longer a valid legal defense anywhere. Whenever you are seeking friendships or relationships, you'll always quickly meet people that are accepting of you, safe to be around, and genuinely like you. As you can see... This is a super simple, super friendly choose your own adventure. It is a fun sort of interactive fiction. It's just fun little story baits and inspiration bait, and also hopefully makes you feel a little bit more wholesome. It's worth noting that the comments on it are a little bit funny. I will be putting the link to this in the description as I always do with things like this so that way people can see it themselves and can read it themselves. But uh, the description, uh, <laughs> the comments definitely made me laugh even, though, even if they also made me a little bit sad. As you can see from this particular Choose Your Own Adventure, simple does not have to mean weak. While the original person who deleted this Choose Your Own Adventure some time ago has uh, since deleted their account, the particular Choose Your Own Adventure is still up. There's three options. You can travel to any dimension of your liking, but you can't travel back to the previous dimension you were at. You can get infinite money slash credit card, and you can teleport any fictional or real character to your dimension and place and they're back to life and have all of their attributes and abilities but they're stuck in your world and they're not your friend unless you make them your friend so as you can see here there's a wide range of very powerful options in this um it's worth noting that just because something is simple doesn't have to mean that it's low powered 
Uh, and for the final little choose your own adventure that we're going to be looking at, we're going to be looking at one that I made and that I have actually talked about in the past. So that way people can see another fairly simple choose your own adventure rather than the big sprawling epic ones that people have seen, including one of the ones that I've talked about on my channel, A Wizard's Keychain. This is my very own Choose Your Own Adventure. It's called Peaceful Liminal Dreams, and the way that it works is super simple. You select one liminal space out of the various options that are arrayed before you, and once you select that liminal space, you have the ability to access it in a variety of ways. They offer very minor benefits, and you have the ability to share liminal spaces with other people, slash invite other people into liminal spaces. I'm not going to go over this in detail. I'm mostly going to show that creating a choose your own adventure does not have to be something super dramatic you don't have to have intense art skills i created this particular choose your own adventure by spending i want to say about three hours looking for the images compiling the text and using a program that i'll probably make a video tutorial of at some point in the future called chuya studio which is a program for making choose your own adventures that is not the only way to do them. I have also made a choose your own adventure just using Google Drive, using just a Google Doc, but there are a wide range of different ways to create them and they're all valid. Not everyone has the technological or art skills needed to create some sort of epic masterpiece, but that doesn't have to stop you from making something. I really want people to try and make choose your own adventures and to try and have fun with it because I think that it's a neat way to put ideas on paper and also to create something that can inspire other people and get them to think as well. I really like this idea. I really like the uh, choose your own adventure space. It's one of my favorite spaces that I've entered into the internet in the last couple of years. I didn't really know that much about choose your own adventures until right before COVID. I had seen them and I had seen other sorts of interactive fiction throughout my entire life growing up, but I didn't really start to get into them until I started coming across some of the more epic ones that I've seen. But I've also come to strongly appreciate the really simple ones. And there are several that I want to go through in my videos that are just really simple rather than being these multi-page long epic odysseys into fantasy worlds where you create a whole life in another place. Some of them are just as simple as, hey, when you daydream, this is the sort of space you'll daydream about, and here's some cool stuff that you can enjoy from that as well. I actually do recommend taking a look at each of these and filling them out yourself, so that way you can get an idea for how simple the space can be. And I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. I know that creating the short content is always a little bit funny, but I really enjoy creating this sort of stuff and showing it to friends and family. So I hope that you have a wonderful day and that your weekend is off to a great start. Bye-bye everyone!